Body of Christ. Um, today is September 29th, 2016. I'm just coming today to make a video about a dream that I had. Um, I wasn't going to share this dream because it was just, it was very short, but the reason why I'm just, I decided to go ahead and share this dream is because, um, on February, I mean, I'm not February, on September the 11th, my son gave his life to the Lord and I led him into, um, the sinner's prayer and he, he came back to the Lord. So, um, it was maybe, um, right at maybe a few days after he gave his, he, he gave his life to the Lord that I had a dream. Um, I was in a building with some people and we were praising and worshiping the Lord. And we, well, I heard there was somebody with me. I don't know who it was, but I heard this, this loud, you know, sound outside that vibrated. It was just, it was, you know, it was just a loud sound that made us run outside. And, and when I went outside, what I saw was fighter jets. They were, we were at war. And these fighter jets, you know, were, um, they were bombing. Okay. And that's all happened in this dream. I didn't know who it was, um, that was bombing. Um, all I knew is it, we were at war. Okay. So, um, a couple of days ago, I think it was like the 27th when I spoke to my son again, um, he told me that he never remember any dreams that he have. And, you know, since he gave his life to the Lord, you know, I'm, I'm sure this is why he remembered his dream this time, but he shared with me and my husband, a dream that he had. And his dream was, um, he saw fighter jets in the sky, okay? And they were at war. They were bombing. And what he remembered most about his dream, that he said for some reason he could not understand why he remembered this, but he remembered that on this fighter jet, it said USSR and that was so important and I explained to him that when we have dreams and visions you know a lot of times the Lord makes sure we um, take a great look or we remember something very important that he want us to remember and what he wanted my son to remember was who it was that we were at war with and many people have had dreams about us being at war with Russia. So just know, everyone, that a lot of things are getting ready to happen. We're getting ready to go to war. <laughs> We're getting ready to see a lot of things happen. And, you know, I know that before anything major happens, we're going to be out of here. And so I am so looking forward to the Lord taking us. I, I had a dream. Um... A few days ago, I believe it was, um, my husband and I was was being taken into this light, and it was so beautiful. This light was so beautiful, and it was it was like glorious, and I was just I was in such awe at how beautiful it was, and we were just being pulled toward this light, and and you know i wish my dreams last longer and sometimes i wish i couldn't i didn't come out of these dreams because they are so awesome but you know we're getting ready to leave here and and it is so important that everyone is living righteous and holy and making sure their garments stay white without spot wrinkle or blemish pray that the lord help you to stay on the straight and narrow path that leads to righteousness leads to heaven your your help your eternal kingdom with god just make sure that you turn from sin make sure you cast down 
every imagination, wicked imagination, you know, this is how we have to keep ourselves from sin by casting down every thought that is not of God. And if you're not saved today, you need to give your life to the Lord. You need to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior this day. Choose you this day whom you will serve because tomorrow is not promised to you. So please accept the Lord Jesus as your personal Savior now and confess your sins to him. Then repent and turn from sin and choose to live for your Lord and Savior because he died for you. So, um, and all those in the body of Christ, I just can't wait to see y'all. I can't wait to just hug every one of you. I'm so excited and I know everyone else is. Um, but everyone stay focused and, and stay ready. Um, I love you all and God bless.